Hello, everybody. And it's good to see... Well, I'm not really seeing you here. But anyways, though, some of you guys might be wondering what the heck is going on. You are not mistaken. I am going to be doing a versus. Kind of what's been going around nowadays, you know, like what Attack of Two Cans and Josh Jepsen have been doing, what Lantis 2 has been doing. I'm doing my own with a very good friend of mine, and we'll be, and like the previous video said, we'll be starting this up in, during around the Christmas time, but they won't be uploaded till around January, hopefully. And that's because we're both very busy, and we're both hoping that dr during the near end of December, we'll have some free time to at least record a few episodes and get this thing heading off in the right direction. Anyways, though, um, what does anyone want to talk about? Oh, right. So, first things first. So, I guess the main point of this video, not first things first, but the main points of this video are to explain the rules. So, Liam, listen up. This is for both you and me. <laughs> you, the viewers, if you guys want, you can play along as well. I don't know why you would want to. This is for entertainment purposes. And if you guys want to prove that you're better than us, go ahead. But please remember one thing, we're both on GameCube controllers, or will be on GameCube controllers. We are de fairly decent, okay, I'm fairly decent, Liam's more a veteran than me when it comes to the uh, Battle Network series on the GBA, but come on the GameCube, we will have so many issues, because we're going to have to use the D-pad and not this control stick. Or we might be, might be forced to use that one. Anyways, so, though, to explain the rules, here's the first rule that we will be following. Rule number one: chip grinding off-screen is allowed. I'm allowing both of us to grind for as many chips as we want while we're off-screen. This is just so that. We're not grinding on screen and boring you guys to tears and wasting about 18 videos trying to find the correct chip for our uh, chip folders. So that's for your benefit and just to make this thing go a little faster. Which brings me up to rule number two. Rule number two is we cannot go into areas that were not shown on camera with or on the video. So for instance. Uh, in the ACDC area, if we were to go, if we have not, okay, so, excuse me. So starting from ACDC one, if you have not access ACDC two on camera, like ACDC has not been shown on camera, the second area, you are not allowed to go in there and chip grind. You are stuck in area one, and whatever's been shown previously. However, I will let. Both of us go into certain areas such as the doghouse or in some of those independent areas that are not story ba storyline based. Mainly because it's more of a waste of time to show you to have show those on screen and there's some good chips that some good chips, some data that we need to grab. <coughs> so there's that. <coughs> Rule number three. And this rule is more so for me than Liam. <clears throat> rule number three is no guides. We are going to we we have to go through this with whatever memory we have of the game right now. And this is mostly and I say this is mostly for me because I am the holder of the cheat book or the game guide in this case. Liam does not have one. I'm pretty sure anyway. And so, just just so that we'll be going on a truth ru truth rule whereby uh, we promise not to cheat in any way, like, such as looking up guys beforehand or going to certain areas and chip grinding off screen. So we're going by a truth rule there. And if we ever do need to use a guide, um, I have set up a couple penalties that I believe to be fair. So if we're using the guide story base, which I know I will be using at one point or another. Uh, we must stand still for two minutes. While the other guy is free to do whatever the heck he wants. He can just chip grind, he can do the plot. But for the person who used the guide, 
we must just stand still and twiddle our thumbs for two minutes. And it's our job to keep track of those two minutes. Otherwise, uh, we could be stuck there for who knows how long. And I also put one more in just for the heck of it. We have a 30 second penalty just in case we need to look up program advances. For what reasons we need to look up a program advance, I have no idea. But I just threw that in just in case. And again, the, uh, rule number three is just for me, personally. And finally, rule number four. Rule number four is, we're allowed to leave the liberation area and come back... On, we're allowed to leave the liberation area off screen and we're allowed to come back and just go to the nearest spot we were when we left off. It's our job to remember where we were. And once again, that relates to the other rule whereby this is because we, I don't want us to be stuck in the liberation area and not do anything until the next video. Just, just for competition's sake. So yeah, we're allowed to go back to where to off screen. We're allowed to go back to where we left off, but no further than that. So a rough estimate, like we can clear certain areas, but let's be fair here. So, those are the rules I have set up. Uh, I'm probably missing one or two that I have not written down, but we'll see when we start and we'll come to that when it happens. Now then, you guys are probably just thinking that this will just be a whole race to the finish. Um, I'm using a three point system here. The first point is obviously beating the storyline the fastest, and that should be the bulk of the episodes. The second way we earn a point is, I've looked through the guide through my previous years, there's a certain area, I believe it's in the graveyard, or whatever that part of the net is called, we can fight our allies at their mo at their highest levels, which I think is they're called DX form or something. That is the area that we must access. So once we've been in the game, we can just do whatever the heck we want, look at the guide, look for chips, just to... Just just so that we can access the area and prepare for all that. And once we access that, have access to that area and all the navvies and, be, and fight them, the one with the fastest time gets a point. Now, you might be thinking that this leaves room for a tiebreaker. Yes, indeed, it does. And for the third and final point, me and Liam will be fighting the good old classic Pronoman vs. Colonel battle. So we'll be duking it out in a th best 2 out of 3 rounds and just seeing who wins. Anything goes for, for the fight and I think it will be a very good match. So um, that's what's going to be happening. These are the rules. This is the point system. Personally I think Liam's gonna win just because he ha he's using Proto Man and well, let's see, he has Captain Awesome, Mr. Hold One Button and Kill Everything, and the guy who doesn't even need to aim, just shoot. What do I have? I got I nobody really care about actually, <laughs> but anyways though. <coughs> It'll be an interesting match. So, I hope you guys will enjoy our little series. And I hope you guys will subscribe over to my friend. I'll leave his name in the description. Or just leave it on screen here. Anyways, so, thank you for listening. And I hope you're, you guys are excited about this as we are. See ya.